Avaaz is a picture and text based AAC app that enables people with complex communication needs with a voice of their own. One is able to communicate using the picture or the keyboard mode or both depending on where they are in their communication journey. Avaaz is based on the concept of four words which are almost 50 to 400 in number and make up the majority of the vocabulary that a person typically uses to speak. The vocabulary is also pragmatic which is when the focus on language is to communicate rather than the way language is structured. For a communicator who is just starting out, the vocabulary is set to level 1. But as they want to progress to a higher level of vocabulary, they can simply go to settings, scroll down to home screen vocab, and then choose level 2 for example, which works best with 24 pictures, or level 3, which works best with 40 pictures. You will also find several topics in the form of folders that might be of interest to communicators at different levels. In an example, I can tap topics on the last row on the bottom. And here I have these categories or folders that are already created, some of which might be of interest to a communicator, which they might be able to use in the sentence that they are creating. Avaaz makes personalization very easy while remaining very powerful in terms of flexibility. Suppose you have a student whose favorite TV characters are Marvel superheroes. You can simply hit the edit mode on the top right of the screen and then tap add new on the top left. Here out of these options, I will choose add a new category and type in Marvel superheroes. Right, so what I want to do next is I want to add a picture and typically what you would do is uh, go on the internet, search a picture of Marvel superheroes, save it to your gallery and upload it from there. But in Avaaz, all of the process is made simple, where you simply have to tap the web button and it searches for Marvel characters related images on the internet and adds it here and needless to say, these are copyright free and also free from explicit content. What I'll go ahead and do now is tap save. And the folder is now saved here. Now that I've created a folder, I want to add the superheroes themselves here. To enter a folder, I will simply double tap it. And then tap on add me on the top left. And then select add many items together. Here I will enter Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, and Spider-Man for example. And please note that I have separated each word with a comma. I'll go ahead and tap OK here. And the app will generate all of these words automatically. So for the word Spider-Man, you can see that the app has automatically attached an image to it. And that happens because Spider-Man being a very popular superhero, we had an image of Spider-Man in a library. But for the rest of the words like Iron Man, Thor and Hulk, you see a question mark. And that happens when the app is unable to find a picture on the app itself, on the library. But here I will simply tap it, the word Iron Man, tap change, and then tap web like we did previously for Marvel superheroes. And I was able to attach a picture to the word and same for Thor. And also the same for Hulk. And just to make sure that we're consistent with pictures, I'll change the picture for Spider-Man as well. Tap web. Tap save. And this is how you can add multiple words and customize them in one go. You can also rearrange the words in order of how you want to introduce them to the communicator. So here I will replace Thor with Iron Man or just bring Hulk to the bottom grid and then exit the edit mode. If a communicator uses multiple devices, say iPhones, iPads or even Android devices, then you'd want to make sure that the vocabulary is consistent and updated across all the devices. With the option to backup and restore, 
all you have to do is navigate to settings on the top right of the screen tap backup and restore and then you can quickly connect your hours to your dropbox account and this is a one-time setup that takes less than 30 seconds if i tap it i'm required to enter my email address and password after which it connects it and once i do that every backup that i create after is automatically saved to my dropbox account and what i can do next is i can simply go to the particular uh, device that i want to restore a backup on tap this for example that i just created backup on 19th august and then tap replace existing vocabulary and what this does it simply replaces the vocabulary that you had previously with the one that you just created on any of the other devices alternatively if you have an ipad or an iphone in range that you want to share a vocabulary from all you have to do is tap the vocab tap share vocab via and then tap airdrop and any ios device in range that has uh, was installed will show up here and all you have to do is tap it and once the other device receives the vocab that you're sharing it will automatically open on the avas app and replace the existing vocabulary and update it for you and that's how simple it is if a communicator is further ahead in the usage of aac and comfortable with using the keyboard mode to communicate they can quickly toggle to it by tapping the keyboard on the top left of the screen and to give an example by creating a sentence here i'll say i i love love the so what i want to do now is i want to enter the word ocean so i'm also spelling the word ocean wrong but understand that i probably mean ocean and gives me the right spelling here ocean so in the keyboard mode with the help of advanced prediction i am able to create full sentences with less number of taps and also you have spell check integrated imagine you have a student or a client with whom you aren't able to meet frequently or have one to one speech therapy sessions the progress might be slowed down significantly with avas live which is an inbuilt tele aac solution that lets you model sentences add vocabulary and modify settings all remotely you can learn more about it in the feature section on our website the dashboard which you can access by tapping it on the top left of the screen is an inbuilt training module for parents and new users of ac that tells them how they can get started quickly if the professional help is limited or not available here in the activity section you'll find the option to practice sentences based on an environment say breakfast table and here if i tap practice now out of these quick practice sentences i will choose i like pancakes and it opens in the edit mode where the focus is on creating the sentence and it also gives you visual cues to guide you and exiting the practice mode now i'll go back to dashboard and then go to the my sentences section wherein i can add any custom sentence that i want the communicator to practice i'll go ahead and tap add and here if i tap try now it will open the sentence like we saw previously in the practice mode going to the analytics section the app lets you see how the it's being used over time and it will give you detailed insights if the communicator is improving or not what i can do is i can change the slider from frequently used to always used and then go to a previous date say 1st august and then see that during this period the total percentage of core vocabulary used is 22.6 i will change the view from cloud to radar and i can also see that how many times each of these words have been spoken out for more information please write to us at support@avasapp.com at or you can always refer to our faq section on our website